people pray at monastery, see its new friar and his mustache and can't stop laughing. His name used to be Carmelo but now that the schnauzer has embraced the holy life he goes by the name Friar Bigoton aka Friar Mustache. Carmelo was adopted as a stray by a Franciscan monastery in Cochabamba, Bolivia, Bolivia, which is fitting since their patron, Saint Francis of Assisi, is the patron saint of animals. Instead of just living as the monastery's pet, Carmelo decided that he would serve as a friar. So he was given the name Friar Mustache and is now the cutest member of the Franciscan monastery. He even has his own habit. But now he had a comfortable life among friends. His life is all about playing and running, Friar Jorge Fernandez told the Dodo. Here, all of the brothers love him very much. He is a creature of God. Friar Mustache also has his own chores at the monastery. Here's Brother Carmelo preaching to the fish, wrote Franciscan Casper Marius Zcaprin in the caption of one of his photos of Friar Mustache that went viral after he posted them online. Friar Mustache also likes to help other stray dogs like himself. His adoption was made possible by Proyecto Neris's Frias, Cold Nose Project. They hope that Friar Mustache's story will inspire other monasteries to open their doors to needy animals. We present to you Friar Mustache, a part of the Fraternity of Brothers in San Francisco Cochabamba Bolivia, a Facebook post roughly translates. If all the churches in our country adopt just a little dog and make it like Friar Bigaton, we are sure that the parishioners would follow their example. And people are going crazy over how adorable Friar Mustache, especially in his cute little robes. He looks damned good in his Friar uniform said one commenter on Facebook. What a wonderful story. Bless you all I bet Mr. Mustache gets as much love as he gives a real joy to read, said another, and another, what a beautiful story. A lucky dog and hopefully others will follow and open their hearts to pets. Said another commenter. There are so many different types of institutions that could be able to take on a dog. Not only would it improve the lives of the dogs but those involved in the institutions as well, just as it has at this monastery. Please share this with your friends and family. Family.